What is up guys, Kitten CJHQ here, and I just have my webcam on for a second because I want to show my new loadout. I just got these LEDs for um, Black Friday, they were like $15, so I was like, oh, they're cool, especially like for my streams, so make sure to subscribe if you want to see my screens, streams. And today we are just doing a 2 Mega Pops, and the tower we are going for is the boat. We are going for aircraft carrier. So as we hop into this, the boat will be able to do it by itself. So I'll see you when I get some upgrades. Okay, so if we're able to make it through this round without any um, thing, we should be able to just buy Geraldo. And I am just going to put Geraldo right here, just because if anything does make it this far, Geraldo will be able to help out, which will be nice. But hopefully not able to steal too many pops, you know, you know. And I think I am going to uh, try to go for double discount villages just so he's able to pop everything. And YouTube just informed me 84.5% of you guys that are watching this are not subscribed. Make sure to smash the subscribe button. I'm trying to hit 10k before the end of 2024. And if you want to help me with that, make sure to smash the subscribe button. Now let's get back to this video. I may also just do, uh, I might, I may just go, um, five, two, zero. Cause that is better than five, zero, two. It just means it won't hit camo, but let's just, um, just for early game, let's just get faster shooting and hopefully we'll be able to get up, um, get up a discount village and I'm going to try to do two of them. Yeah, this round I should be able to get at least one part of this and I do want to get two so let's go oh I'm not even able to get um monkey business yet and then I also have to get monkey commerce and Geraldo is getting a little bit of pops but that's all right and hopefully by the hopefully I don't have to buy faster shooting which I may have to just because did I screw myself Oh, I'm going to have to retry this round. Hopefully I didn't place down the village before, but I probably did knowing me. So if that's the case, let's just put down some Amazo glue. So they all get uh, slowed down and hopefully we'll be able to pop all of them. Come on. And with Geraldo, he will make it so it's easier. And it looks like we will be able to pop this round. And hopefully I'm able to get monkey commerce, but honestly, I may just have to go for grape shot, which is okay. Yeah, let me just get grape shot. I'll at least get double discount for like the support I'm going to get, which is going to be glue gunner and then discount it on the radar scanner, which will be nice. Hopefully I'm 90% sure this will be enough for this. And then for 23, 24 has camos. What am I doing? And Grape Shot is just a major upgrade. This is easy. 24. Hopefully soon be able to buy a village. Another village. Actually, I can get uh, Monkey Comrades. So now these are... Um, how much? 15%. Uh, what additional 5% discount they can stack with two other villages. It's crazy how good like a zero, I mean a one one zero boat is able to handle with. But this round I do have to buy hot shots just so we're able to pop leads next round. <coughs> and once we are actually able to get a destroyer, that will be really good news. And I know we can handle this, so... Let me just go like this and that this will be the jungle drums so both are in range let's just go like this round 30 shouldn't be a problem i just need an additional 540 so this is 390 dollars but if i end up getting this upgrade what you you're serious this isn't in range? 
It's crazy. Maybe if I get bigger radius. Oh, there, 365. God damn. Good thing I bought bigger radius. And then we can finally get a uh, double shot. And destroyer is also cheaper because it's usually 3,000. So that's actually a huge discount. And this is also discounted, so we can get that. We still have camo, but we do lose it next round. But the next time we need camo after 33 is uh, 36. And hopefully we'll have enough for camo. And I know once we get destroyer, that will be enough for the Moab. So as of right now, we are just waiting and hoping I make enough this round so I don't have to... Um, I don't have to buy another uh, camo potion, invisibility potion. We're able to buy it, and are we able to finish off this round? We are, which is really great. And I do want to get destroyer just because that will make it so. I mean, come on. I mean, I do want to get a mib just so we're able to pop all the leads. Easily and we don't have to wait on hot shot. It'll just make it so everything's able to pop every type of balloon But after this round well on round 30 uh, Yeah, uh, maybe after this round we should afford destroyer. Yes, we do So I will just see you on round 40 because as you can see this is easily gonna decimate everything Hey round four the Moab is about to come out. Let's just get jungle drums just so it'll have increased fire rate uh, by 15% I'm pretty sure and the Moab does make it a little bit for our but that's all right and as you can see we are just decimating so I do want to save up for um, MIB and then after that I will go for aircraft carrier but as you dude, honestly the boat has some like really strong pass the top path is really good don't go it much because I prefer the middle path because it's a little bit cheaper I believe and it also like uh, just has like more Moab damage but this is like more general damage over balloons and also um, fucking what you would call it I don't know <laughs> balloons and also Moabs but this is like more focused on overall pirate lord is focused on moabs especially with the hook in ability once i get aircraft carrier i am going to get um an overclock which will help tremendously and if i really need to i have sharpening stone and then i also have jerry's fire but i feel like pierce isn't going to be an issue for us and once i'm able to i'll upgrade this to primary mentoring just so i get some free tier ones and with this we should be able to just get aircraft carrier which is really nice so i guess i will see you uh when i get overclocked okay and just like that we're almost able to afford uh the overclock straight out which is really nice and i will put the overclock right here and we are just a thousand away and i'll target the cleansing foam away because if you didn't know it does like pop leads which is nice but also pretty bad and just like that we have an overclock and we will just be able to overclock this and then we should see a difference in the attack speed but as you can see already nothing's really getting by so i think the next thing i'm just gonna buy is primary training primary mentoring and then i'm gonna get my glue gunner up early so let's get this where am i blind yes i am so if i go like this it has the double discount and plus it's also uh free tier one so let's go stronger gl glue splatter mo um stronger glue and hopefully soon I'll be able to get um, Moab glue, which will be next round. Well, or after I pop all these guys. And then it's just the save up for Relentless glue. And I feel like this guy will do fine against all these balloons. I just got to make sure to overclock. And 63 should be 
an easy round as well. Let's just see. Everything is just easy. The amount of projectiles is insane. And like it has a hundred percent uptime. Because it's a tier four. Once I hit a tier five, that's when everything will start going downhill. Is there a pierce gap? I mean a pierce uh, cap. I feel it a little bit, but we are still struggling through. Geraldo only has 588 pops, which isn't that bad, so we're good. And plus, once it's overclocked, it doesn't really look like it's moving that much. So I think now we will just be able to save up directly for um, the carrier flagship. But if not, there's always call to arms or there's Jerry's fire and the glue the pierce so i guess i'll see you when i get uh either carrier flagship or some upgrades okay so after we complete this round we should be able to afford uh the carrier flagship which will be a major power boost basically does extra damage can place other monkeys on top which really doesn't matter and increases attack speed for all monkey based in the air well water type and monkey aces which is really nice but this is a two mega pop so this is the only guy that's going to be getting the attack speed which is really nice the overclock does only become uh up uh 30 i mean 70 percent of the time 75 because it's three quarters of the cooldown as you can see, it's active, it's active, but once it gets right here, it's going to be unactive. So this is actually going to be really uh, important to like use the abilities at the right time and everything. And this does increase the range, so I am going to do that. Just because the main attack does do a decent bit of damage as well. And I feel like once it hits round 80, I will apply... Um, I will apply Jerry's fire because then we can do it on round 80 and then 90 which will be very helpful and I will be getting an out buff for this guy so once round 80 is here let's go like that and once this guy is in range let me just go one two three overclock him just so we're easily able to pop that down and also I want to get a alchemist buff on this guy with faster throwing just because that does increase the range as well and also the damage which is really nice and really needed when you're trying to get something to two mega pops so there's two things i could do i could either go for um I could either go for a relentless another relentless glue down here just to make sure everything is getting glued or i can just wait uh, until I'm able to afford call to arms. I guess we'll just see what I need. But as of right now, we are doing A-OK, -okay, which is really nice. But let's see. Uh, and once Geraldo hits level 19, the invisibility potion will make it so it does extra damage to DDTs, which will be really nice. And for round 100, I feel like this guy has enough damage. And if not, there's always retry. And also, we've only taken away uh, 700 pops, which is, in my book, really good. But this is just an aircraft carrier, and I just realized we can't afford Call to Arms, which I will get, just because Call to Arms is a really good thing. And once we overclock and glue, and both of these guys are in things, they just insanely pop super fast which is really nice which we will be using that and i feel like the next struggle probably will be uh the 90s but i feel like we have way more than enough we have overclock we have uh call the arms which both really do a lot and call the arms does also work on the planes and obviously the alchemist buff i'm 90 percent sure but it does time out which is all right hopefully we will be able to afford homeland i i feel like that'll be the next thing just because homeland increases um 
increases uh, pops and speed for all monkeys for 20 seconds, which is phenomenal. And it looks like we are able to pop um, ZMGs without even using an ability, which is really nice. And this alchemist has yet to get any pops, which is really nice. And 89, I will just use the ability. The abilities, because hopefully we'll pop it fast enough. Where, nope, it timed out. But we are able to deal with the DDTs. Oh, we're already on round 91. So this is like when ZMGs and everything starts coming out more. And I'm going to be way more reliant on abilities. Just because this guy starts to fall off. But I feel like up until then, we should be fine. And I just realized I did not put on new Jerry's Fire. Did I mess up? Uh, Moab. Uh, no, I feel like I did it right. Let's just go like that to start shredding. Because overclocking does also work on the Jerry's Fire, which is really nice. Are we able to pop these guys down? It's taken a little bit, but that's all right. Hopefully this glue, and it does make it so we do have the ability back up for 93, both abilities. Oh, this guy finally got some pops. I'm just going to wait until the DDTs come out, and just like that, let's use both abilities. And we are just shredding through these rounds. 95 is the next one that has a lot of, like, a, a lot of DDTs, which I don't know what I'm going to do for that round. But I want Geraldo to level up just so we're able to um, able to get like the increased camo damage. This guy did lose it, lose the thing, and I don't want to waste um, money to buy Geraldo's next upgrade. And I hope this isn't. I hope I don't have to use a um, overclock or all the arms just because I'm. Hoping we have enough in the tank, which we do. This guy is only getting a couple hundred pops, which is all right. And we are able to slowly take this down. Geraldo, next round you will be level 19. So let's go like this. And once DDTs come out, I will just overclock and uh, call the arm. So overclock all the arms and I feel like we will be doing this with ease uh, come on actually pushing up on us but maybe doing call the arms is a bad idea but you know you live and you learn now we have extra camo damage which is really nice but if I just go like this and start using the ability 97 i know will be an easy round just because it is just uh two fortified zmgs and just like that we're able to afford homeland which is really nice and that works for 20 seconds so i think if we're able to pop these guys down it'll make it like way easier but let's say i just let's go like that just so we're able to pop all of them and Homeland is also going into Mega Effect 2. And I do want both abilities up for round 97. And, I mean 98. And just because I know my luck, I'm just going to get a Sabo in advance. Hopefully I'll make enough to get a Sabo. Come on. I want... A Sabo. Oh, we're not going to have the money for a Sabotage, are we? No, we are not. So, I feel like let's just use the abilities early. So, hopefully we get enough for a Sabo. Which we do. I didn't buy any other upgrades, right? No, I did not. So, I think I will use... Um, once the balloons start pushing, that's when I'll use Sabotage, and then we can just use Homeland and uh, Overclock to hopefully finish these guys out. Because those ZMGs are starting to push, but I say that as they're also just only halfway through. 
And let's just use both abilities again, finish out the round. And for 99, what I want to do is just use Sabotage. Because I feel like we have enough for that. And also, let's... I can't use that. That is stupid. Go like this. So I want to do one run without buying any extra defense and just see if this is enough which i'm hoping it really is and it looks like we will probably have enough in the tank and the moment this guy pop i do have to like use sabotage those those ddts don't just push forward so let's use overclock homeland and is this the final stretch are you gonna pop okay let's use sabotage and they are like almost halfway around the track but i should have the abilities up oh my god there we go so if you found this video helpful make sure to smash the subscribe button and thank you guys so much for watching and have a great day and we only sacrificed eight thousand pops